Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Transfer Daily. Now, this one isn't going to be as packed as the one the other day because there were a lot of rumours circulating the internet, you know, Twitter and stuff like that. And I thought I'd just cover every single, you know, rumour what has been said so far. Um, obviously, the transfer window is still open, but we haven't really been that active in it, um, which could be quite sensible for us. Uh, you know, we're not panic buying, but... It is worrying that the Orsic rumours have kind of quietened down a little bit. I will cover that in a little bit. Uh, the first rumour is um, Raheem Harper. Now, he's only played six minutes worth of football in the Championship for us. You know, he really impressed me in that game, uh, that cup game against Charlton the other week. I think he played really well and... Uh, now there's interest from Leeds, Fulham and QPR. Um, now, I'm not sure about this because obviously Leeds and Fulham both promotion candidates, would you really want to loan one of your young midfielders to go and help um, a team who's rivaling you for promotion? I'm not 100% sure on this. Um, now, there is actually a lot of interest for him, I've heard. Um, obviously, he was keen. he's keen to get first-team football. Uh, Darren Moore was really keen um, for him to go back to Doncaster and work under him. Now, those rumours seem to have dropped a little bit over recent weeks, and it makes you wonder whether it was actually true. Um, but now, apparently Leeds, Fulham and QPR are all interested in signing Harper on loan. To me, it wouldn't really make sense to loan him out to those teams. Uh, maybe QPR, um, but not Leeds or Fulham. I do agree that he needs uh, more game time in the Championship to help him develop. But I certainly wouldn't go uh, loaning him out to a team like Leeds or Fulham, who, like I say, are going to be up there with us at the end of the season. Um it was reported by the Sun, so I'm not 100% sure how true it is. We all know what the Sun are like. They're not really that reliable. Um, the second one being Mislav Orsic. Now, it has quietened down in recent weeks, like I've said, well, in the last week, ever since we heard that there was a bid. Um, it has gone um, really quiet, but Slavin Bilic has confirmed, the Express and Star has confirmed that there is genuine interest in uh, Mislav Orsic, you know, Slavin Bilic is really keen for him to bring to bring him to the Hawthorns, and Orsic himself has even um, kind of hinted away at a move from Dynam Dynamo uh, Zagreb this this window. Um, he has said that players like other players in his club could easily fill the boots if he did leave, um, which is he's kind of hinting a move away. Um, but we'll have to see how this one develops. There is actually genuine interest, like I've said. Um, I believe that there's been no bid made, but West Brom are really close to making a bid and hopefully they will get him in because he does seem like a very decent player. Now, the last one is actually Carlin Grant from Huddersfield, and I'm not sure how true this one is. Um, you know, there was an issue with Dwight Gale. Steve Bruce has now confirmed that he won't be leaving. Um, but with Carlin Grant, the, the transfer fee will be a lot higher than Gale's. Um, I think you're looking at easily 12 to 15 million. He's a decent championship um, striker. On top of that, he's still young. He's like 22 or 23 years of age. So he's still got a lot of time on his side. So Huddersfield aren't really going to want to sell him. Uh, he scored quite a few goals for him this season as well. So to get a striker like him, it'll be really difficult because Huddersfield won't want to sell him. I can't see this one being 100% true. Um Guys, let us know in the comment section what you think. The vlog will be um, tomorrow against Stoke City. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more transfer news, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.